Less than six months ago, the World Health Organization declared the Ebola outbreak an international public health emergency. It might surprise you to hear that the number of new Ebola cases has dropped below 100 per week. So what happened? How did we go from the largest and most complex Ebola outbreak in history to almost total containment in just half a year? More than 8,500 people have died from this Ebola epidemic, a huge and tragic number of victims. But that is tens of thousands short of the number that the Centers for Disease Control said could fall victim to the disease. 1.4 million people could be infected by early next year. 1.4 million. 1.4 million people. But 1.4 million referred to the projected number of deaths if no steps were taken to curb the disease. The CDC also predicted that with sufficient intervention, Ebola would be, quote, almost ended by January 20th, 2015. And that's exactly what happened. The most effective intervention to slowing Ebola's spread was something pretty simple, educating the public. Billboards, banners, and text messages about how to avoid infection blanketed Western Africa. The public learned to avoid crowded places. Schools were closed and elections were canceled. And perhaps most importantly, medical practices changed, ensuring that there was minimal contact when handling bodies and performing burials. So what about the international response? It would be wrong to say that the global community didn't help curb the Ebola epidemic, but due to the slow response time of governments around the world, many of those efforts didn't gain momentum until December when things in West Africa were already starting to turn around.